Hello, in this video we will discuss about the glucagon signaling pathway. So the glucagon signaling pathway, so the important thing is that the glucagon is a catabolic hormone, which that catabolism of fat, glycogen and gluconeogenesis will be occur. And one mole uh, per liter, the hormone can rapidly decompose the 3 into 10 to raise power 6 mole per liter glucose into the tissues, for example, liver and muscle. So let's begin to understand first of all the control of secretion and next we will discuss about the cellular mechanism. So the control of secretion we will discuss here is the stomach and this is the brain and on the other hand here is the pancreas and this is the liver. So here is the pancreas contain islet of Langerhans contain alpha cell, beta cell and delta cell. While the here is the uh, inside of the lumen, so the inside the small intestine which that's contain an enterocyte and enteroendocrine cell. So the enteroendocrine cell will produce the GIP and GLP-1. And in this way, I let of Langer hands you can see. And let's begin to understand here is the vagal nerve, which that is due to the sympathetic or parasympathetic nervous system response. And will target to the somatostatin releasing from the delta cell and somatostatin will inhibit the alpha cell and also the inhibition of the alpha cell will promote the beta cell to produce insulin but in the fasting state the GIP will stimulate both so important thing is that the GIP will stimulate both uh, alpha cell and beta cell and GLP-1 is a glucagon like peptide 1 which that will stimulate both amino acid and the sugar constriction in the lumen will trigger this hormone. Anyhow, in this way that is why here is the glucose and the amino acid will inhibit basically not stimulate the glucagon and here is the fasting state will stimulate the glucagon to produce and glucose uptake from the glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis in the liver and muscle. So this is a mechanism which that is a glucagon will be produced when the fasting state. Uh, when we will eat something so the glucagon will inhibit so remember about that. So here is the glucagon will produce during the fasting time or parasympathetic nervous system activation. So we will discuss in the next, in this, uh, uh, in the last um, uh, point in this video. So here the glucagon will bind with the glucagon receptor is known as a G couple protein receptor. So let's draw a bigger picture for understanding the G couple protein receptor with the cellular mechanism and what is this. So here is the glucagon which that is produced after the glucose level drop during the fasting state will stimulate the glucagon to produce the glucagon into the circulatory system because it is the endocrine hormone. So the pancreas is also the exocrine and endocrine gland which that produce the several type of hormone and enzyme. So here if you can see this is the binding region is the G couple protein receptor will bind with the GPCR binding with the extracellular domain and to stimulate the intracellular domain where the, where the three type of subunit of protein alpha, beta and gamma. This the G couple protein is contain a GDP with alpha is stimulated by the GTP addition to convert the GDP into convert GTP and this come from the Krebs cycle. So remember about this and after these things is here is the beta and gamma protein subunit, trimeric subunit will become a dimeric and the monomeric will be separate and in this way the alpha subunit will bind with the GTP will become active and after this activation will stimulate in the presence of the adenylate cyclase enzyme which that is the integral protein are present in the plasma membrane. After this adenylate cyclase will ATP used to produce the cyclic AMP by the stimulation of the alpha cell. Oh, sorry, alpha, uh, uh, alpha monomer. So after this, the um, protein kinase A, which that is, will be stimulated to uh, phosphorylation after the cyclic AMP, that is a second messenger, will stimulate the protein kinase A, and this protein kinase A will stimulate by the PPK phos uh, protein uh, kinase uh, pro PPK which that will stimulate after the ATP using to produce the activation to 
Pero ahorita P, eh, K, P, A, K. P, P, K. So in this way, phosphorylation will be occur. So here is the P, P, K, not P, A, K. So after this, uh, stimulate the P, Y, G, P, Y, G, A, which that is the ISO enzyme stimulation from the P, Y, G, B enzyme inactivation. So in this way here is you can see this is the glycogen and this glycogen will be UDP glucose will be used for the glycogen synthesis. So the glycogen synthase enzyme use a glycogen synthase while the glycogenolysis will be occur by the activation of the PYGA ISO enzyme which that will uh, degradation of the glycogen to produce the glucose 1-phosphate. So in this way here is the glyco uh, GY as the gly muscle glycogen synthase enzyme A which that will be uh, inhibited by the ATP used to phosphorylation to become a GYSB the glycogen synthase B which that will be inactive. So anyhow in this way you can see that is the uh, inactivation but on the other hand the catabolism will begin. And in this way the catabolism will inhibit the proliferation of cell and the mitotic division of the cell, meiotic division of the cell etc. And inhibit the uh, gene activation which that is produced the glycogen synthase enzyme. And IP3 pathway will be inhibited because it is the anabolic and here is the mTOR C1 and C2 complex which that is also inhibited and protein kinase C pathway will be inhibited. So that means the cell proliferation will be inhibited while the mm, uh, degradation of the glycogen will be promoted. So here the glycolysis will be occur. See the glycolysis will become a glucose 6-phosphate uh, and fructose 6-phosphate to become a fructose 1,6-bisphosphate formation. And this is going on to glycolysis to produce ATP when go into the Krebs cycle after the pyruvate production in the end product of the glycolysis. So here is the glucose and fructose can be reversible. And in this way the glucose and fructose will be formed. And in this way the glycolysis will be occur but in this case the glycolysis will not occur because the normal glucose level will should be maintained in the blood circulatory system so the fructose and glucose will move into the blood circulatory system. So after the blood circulatory system will maintain the blood sugar and in this way the autonomic nervous system which that play important role for the parasympathetic nervous system inactivation while the sympathetic nervous system will be activated. After the sympathetic nervous system will be activated will trigger the uh, glycogenolysis through production of the glucagon uh, through vagal nerves and on the other hand the lipolysis, glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis will be occur. And in this way you know about that the sympathetic nervous system is fight and flight response. During the fight and flight response will elevate the blood sugar level uh, rather than the normal level of the sugar. So that is why the blood sugar will be also promote and produce more during the sympathetic nervous system. So that is important thing you should need to understand the fasting time will promote the sympathetic nervous system to glycogenolysis and glu uh, lipolysis. Thanks for